Hello, my friends. It is Tuesday afternoon in Markham, around 2 p.m. So welcome to another Tuesday at 2 uh, stamping demonstration. I know it takes a few minutes for people to log on, so I'll just uh, uh, share a little bit of what's been going on. Those of you on my newsletter list will have gotten the email about my super busy weekend. Last weekend was... Uh, filled to the brim with so much excitement. Uh, it actually it felt like it started on Thursday last week. I did a craft show and um, my church was hosting it, just a little Christmas market. So I had a table, I had some of the uh, paper pumpkin kits for sale. I got to meet some great people. I had dinner there, so uh, it was great. And my youngest son was super helpful helping me bring all the bags into the church and packing up and bringing them all out again. Um, so that was Thursday. And then Friday I had to uh, leave and head downtown because the Stampin' Up! Onstage event started on Friday. So uh, that was um, big excitement. Of course, I worked right up to the final time when I had to leave. I probably um, sent out some emails, cleaned some stuff up, got things packed. I did everything Friday morning and then went downtown. Um, so fortunately the driving was okay. I always get a little bit lost downtown. I think I might have missed an exit and they're always doing construction on the roads and so I am not a confident driver downtown. Um, but I always tell myself, doesn't matter if I get lost or whatever, somehow it'll work out. Um, but I don't love driving downtown. There's not a lot of signage. I just feel like it's there's so many roads and pedestrians. <laughs> but I managed to make it downtown and park at the convention center. I got where I was going. Good afternoon, Bev. Good. I see some people hopping on. Perfect. So uh, as usual, I'll do some announcements, but I still have all my loot sort of set out from the weekend because I was trying to take pictures of it yesterday for my blog. So if you didn't get a chance to look at my blog and see the pictures, I can show you all my loot because it's still here. Stampin' Up! is so awesome about... Um, kind of giving us a little bit of pampering and treats and recognition and um, it was really our demonstrator event uh, to showcase the new products coming out for the spring. So that is one of the perks of being a demonstrator is that you get to see the new catalogs first, you get to order from the new catalogs first, you get to attend these uh, special events that are just for demonstrators. So those are just a few of the perks for being a demonstrator. Um, so we had on out of the team stick stampers there was about 79 of the team members there in toronto at our toronto local location so there was a lot of team stick energy and uh, it was great to see all the team members out there getting to meet each other and some of them already knew each other so it was just kind of a place to say hello and reconnect um on stage is always, uh, every time it's a little bit different. This time I kind of wish there was more time for the stamping projects. Um, I was too busy eating chips and chatting away, so I don't think I really got too much of the stamping done. So so when I show you my stuff from on stage, you won't uh, really see the stamping projects because I didn't complete them. I might have pieces of them. Let's look and see. Okay, so uh, don't be shy. For those of you that are joining in, if you're watching this live video, even if you're watching the replay, I like seeing comments. Uh, uh, tell me what you're thinking, say hi, because uh, when you comment, I'll enter you into a drawing. So, by the way, speaking of last week's drawing, Doreen H., Doreen Howard, was the winner from last week. So, Doreen, I'll send you a little prize in the mail. You can watch for that. Uh, so, why don't I flip this over so that you can see all my loot. I've got it all kind of nicely displayed here for my pictures yesterday. And then I'll share some announcements, and then we'll do some stamping. How does that sound? I'm sure you're all eager to see the new products okay so let's flip this around I'm sorry my craft cave is extremely messy hi Donna okay yes congratulations to, to Doreen who won the prize for last week for commenting okay so first of all this is the convention bag well I can't really move it because all my stamps will fall down but it's a really cute little backpack so that was the um, kind of convention bag. Sometimes they just do simple canvas bags. So it's kind of special that we got a nice backpack. And uh, if I had a second pair of arms, I could unzip it and show you inside. Uh, let me see. 
Let's see whether I can show you inside. The inside is really nice. It's like a Blackberry Bliss color. Ah, it's probably not going to work. Da -da -da. Can you see it there? Can you see the pattern? That's the Blackberry Bliss pattern inside. It's super nice. Hi, Tracy. Yeah, these are the new goodies. So, um... I think we all got this Timeless Tulip stamp, so I guess everything's going to collapse now. Okay, so this is the Timeless Tulip stamp that we all got. So every single person got it in their bag. And, uh, um, of course, there is a matching punch for it. They didn't give us that, but I've already ordered it because it's going to be super cute. And um, I know with that punch, people are going to come up with really awesome punch art for it but I thought the font was really nice. And then I actually got a copy of that stamp in French. So some of you may know that I have been practicing my French, so now I feel the need to send my French classmates tulip cards in French. I got, uh, I got this sentiment set in French, and then they had Prize Patrol. Look at these painted poppies. We all got this nice little notebook here and these cute pens so they kind of used the poppy theme throughout and kind of these dramatic colors so we got some new pens and then uh, here's can you see this this is this was my name tag so it, it was a bit of a uh, all in good fun I was teased quite a lot about my name tag um, because I had so many ribbons on them <laughs> but uh, it, it was um, an honor and a blessing and a gift to be able to have uh, achieved in so many different categories. So they kind of give you a ribbon for your title and different achievements. Um, so anyway, so there was kind of lots of teasing to me on the week, on the weekend, I think about being careful when I go to the bathroom or being careful when I walk in case I trip, but I know everyone was just uh, teasing and good fun. <laughs> okay. And then, um, and then I got some blends markers, and this is a new punch, which I still have to, like, I know it makes this little label, but this thing seems very special. So I'm wondering whether after I punch the label, then I can punch this part and get a little slot in my label, right? So that I can put a string or a ribbon through. Um, so what else did we get? Oh, of course we got the new spring catalog. I can't show you what's inside, but those of you that are demonstrators will have access to it on our little back office website. So you guys can look at all that in there. We got these pins and then, um, they had these special top performer pins. So they're kind of fun and a little card, and as a top performer, I also got a special necklace. And so the card was saying about the necklace being flowers, just a, a nod to kind of the growth. And um, yeah, how I do feel like my stamping business is like a living organism. There's so much um, watering and fertilizing and pruning or different things that I have to do in my business that the, the garden analogy is very apropos appropriate okay and then we got some dsp that's from the masculine there's going to be a masculine suite so we got that so oh and then this was a little gift from center stage another stamp set and i didn't even open this up yet i like looking at it all wrapped up but i think it's like a little credit card holder in there so that is my loot from on stage and of course i got little little gifts from friends and things like that so that's um part of the fun as well people swapping and giving gifts and um, the handmade touch is always nice okay so if you are just tuning in or if you've never watched one of my Tuesday at 2 videos before um, you need to know that um, I love to share stamping my name is Genevieve Co and I'm just trying Facebook live videos so that I can share my stamping beyond just my classes so I do do uh, quite a lot of different classes. I don't even have time to talk about them all sometimes when I send out my e-news. Um, but why don't I just share a couple of things that are going on in the Stampin' for Fun world. So one of them is this advent calendar. We are getting close to the 1st of December. So anybody who would like to come out and make this, if you're anywhere near Markham, or even if you wanna order it, I can send it out to you. Uh, this is a great home decor item, but it also makes a great gift. So for kids, students, other adults, it is a great, great gift. So um, 
I am having I've got different things going on so Saturday is my ladies retreat day the women will be coming to just craft and do whatever they want but I've got the space so if anyone wants to come and make this calendar this Saturday you can do that it's in Markham although I don't know why I didn't look ahead of time but Saturday is also the Markham Santa Claus parade so the roads might be a little funny in the middle of the day but should be no problem because I'll be there between 9 30 a.m. to 9 30 p.m. doing the ladies retreat day so if any of you want to stop by uh, within that time frame to do the calendar you are more than welcome to as well Thursday this week um, I have a couple ladies coming to do it and so if you want to join in with that and then of course my monthly sweet and simple class which is always the last Wednesday of the month um, <laughs> sorry I just got this funny text message on my phone which uh, I'll tell you the story later okay so so um, that's the problem with Facebook live these funny messages coming across the screen when my tech when it's texting um, so yes my last Wednesday of the month class is my sweet and simple class I am also um, we've got lots of space so if anyone wants to come then to do this I think I do have one person coming, but others are more than welcome as well. Just let me know because I've got the calendars ready for you. Okay, so those are the three options to come and do the advent calendar. It looks way better in person, um, but you may think it's really hard, but you don't have to cut these things out. They are already pre kind of cut for you. Um, you just have to do a little bit of stamping. I'll provide the dimensionals and the glue and you can just assemble it. It's a really nice activity to do with a friend. Okay, so that is one announcement. Um, there's lots of things coming down the pipe, so I should just put them all in one place. Oh, the other big thing that's coming up is to register for my customer appreciation event. So even if you're long distance, but you have ordered from me before, there's even something special for you. You just have to register. It's on my website, genevieve.stampinup.net, and click the events button, and uh, you'll find in December, it's December the 29th, you need to RSVP. Okay, so uh, I'm pretty sure I put it on there. So otherwise, I'll put the link in this video. Okay, who's ready to do some stamping? Hi, Diane. Uh, if you're just tuning in, don't be shy. Comment because the comments will be entered into a drawing. Okay, so let me move this calendar. I can already see now. I, I always feel like I have things organized and then I'm afraid that I'll mess something up. Okay, so let's flip this over and do a little bit of stamping. Okay. Wow, why does it look so blurry? Is that normal? Okay, let's see how that works. Can you guys see down here? Okay, this card is one of the cards that we are going to do in our Sweet and Simple class this month. So if you are thinking of coming or um, you need a few extra Christmas cards, just let me know because this is one of the cards we'll be making. So just to give you a little sneak peek of next week Wednesday's Sweet and Simple class. Um, but the card that we're making today is also um, for next week's class. Um, but I thought I would share it today too because if you've been following, every Tuesday at 2 I do a video and on um, each month it's a different product of the month so this month's product is actually a suite of products it is the Christmas uh, row stamp set it's called the Christmas time is here suite so uh, it incorporates a lot of different things it incorporates the stamp set it incorporates some gorgeous uh, shimmery ribbon okay it incorporates um, some glitter dots okay some gold glitter dots and it incorporates some gorgeous DSP okay and it even incorporates a um, in that suite they even have a bracelet isn't that fun that would actually kind of match with my new necklace okay so um, I thought so if you haven't seen the other videos every Tuesday this month we'll be showcasing this suite now what's special about this suite is that it's only available while supplies last until the end of November so whatever happens first 
whether it runs out before the end of November or the end of November. Either way, it's a limited time offering. So if you like what you see, don't hesitate. Just head to my website, genevieve.stampinup.net and use this host code when you shop on the shopping cart page. And then anyone who places an order using this host code, online order on my website, will get 12 um, crafting tutorials from me. So I call it my 12 days of Christmas crafting tutorials. So you'll get tutorials on uh, that are making cards, some that are making um, little 3D items, gift card holders. So if you want to see those 12 uh, Christmas crafting tutorials, make sure you place an order this month, uh, genevieve.stampinup.net, using that host code. Just click the shop now button. And this code will close November the 22nd, 27th. So we only have one more week. Eek! I suddenly remembered a very important announcement. I have to tell you, I can't start stamping this card yet. I can't. I have a big announcement. Big announcement, big announcement. Okay, big announcement is that starting tomorrow, November the 20th, so only for three days, if I had been smart, I would have the flyer. Only for three days, there is going to be a big sale. They call it the online extravaganza sale. And um, all these inks, let me show you. Maybe I should just take these babies out, okay? Um, neutrals and regals inks will all be 15% off okay um, so there's an example of the things that are in the neutrals I, this is my favorite color in the neutrals if you do not have night of navy you better buy it during the sale it's the sale starts tomorrow it's only for three days so the thing they've announced on the sale is that any neutral ink pads any of the in color ink pads Okay, they, oh, here's a favorite, Seaside Spray. Okay, they are going to be 15% off, um, just only for three days, only for three days. So don't miss it. So you are going to want to shop on my online store using this host code with the sale, because when you do, not only will you get your discounted price on not just ink pads, uh, neutrals, regals, ink pads, but also the um, cardstock. Neutrals and regals cardstock is also on sale 15% off, as well as eight different bundles will be 15% off. And bundles, as you know, is already 10% off. So you get another 15% off. So it's a pretty good sale. Don't miss out. But you're going to want to shop online if you can using this host code so that you get my 12 days of Christmas crafting tutorials. And if your order is $50 or more, you will also get a free package of rhinestones from me as a thank you. Think of it like a little Christmas present. Okay, so whoo, that was a close one. I almost forgot to mention it and then I would have been very mad at myself. Okay, so just imagine, look, here's, a, here's another that we're actually going to use it today this crumb cake color I'm actually going to leave it out because we're using it today okay so any this is your chance to finish up your collection or or just get your collection uh, sorted out for the regals and neutrals categories because a sale like this does not come around very often you'll get 15% off on ink pads and cardstock in the regals and neutrals collection plus you uh there's eight bundles that will be on sale too okay now if you're just tuning in don't be shy say hi because you'll be entered into the drawing now i can move on and focus on the product of the month um our limited time offering for the christmas time is here i am using mossy meadow this is the mossy meadow cardstock it's already been cut at um five and a half by eight and a half, five and a half by eight and a half. Okay. And, um, the more I use this trimmer, the more I am in love with this trimmer. I actually thought it was quite similar to our previous trimmer, but, uh, there's something amazingly different about it, which I can't quite put my finger on. I think it has something to do with the blade. It is just so smooth and it hasn't been getting dull. It's been uh, great to use. So if you don't have a paper trimmer or you're not enjoying the one you have, you should get this one because the more I use it, the more I love it. Okay, so I'm going to just score it at four and a quarter, okay, so that we've got a nice score line. That's the great thing about this trimmer. We've got the scoring blade and the cutting blade in one tool. Okay, so we'll put that aside. The other thing that we'll need is a piece of Whisper White cardstock, which I'm going to cut at four inches by five and a quarter inches. Okay, see how smooth that is? So smooth. 
four inches by five and a quarter inches. Hi, Carol. I saw that you joined in. I'm glad you commented. Have you recovered from on stage? Carol is one of our team stick girls, and I saw her at on stage there. Okay, so we've got a perfect layer right here, four inches by five and a quarter inches, and then I'm going to cut some of this gorgeous DSP. Sometimes you feel nervous about cutting DSP because it's like so perfect, you don't want to use it, but the paper is meant to be used, so no fear. We are going to use it. I'm going to use some, do you see the gold foil in that? It is gorgeous. And because there's several sheets of each design, it does last. It's great. Oh, there's a chip on my trimmer. I'm not going to lie. I eat chips a lot. Um, okay, so I'm going to cut it at the three, sorry, qu three quarter inch. Okay, so there we go. The great thing is the trimmer also has markings in this direction as well as the other direction. So I'm actually going to put it right there at three quarter inch and trim. Now the problem with eating chips when you're crafting is it makes your paper a little greasy. So I don't actually recommend it, but you know, I have been known to do it. Okay, and so this is five and a quarter inches. Okay, so I've got a little strip of this DSP, five and a quarter inches by three quarter inches. And then I'm going to take some of the, this design. Oh, I might have this here already, a piece already cut. And again, I just love the gold foil embedded in it. So one and a half inches by five and a quarter inches. Okay, there we go. Okay, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer them together like that. Okay, so I think we're okay with the trimmer. Let me move it out of the way. Okay, and what we're going to do is take this Whisper White piece that we already cut. It's four inches by five and a quarter inches, and I'm going to use the Christmas Rose stamp, um, the large outline image. Now, if you watched my Tuesday at 2 episode from the first week of November, I showed how the other part of the stamp set, these things actually fill in and fit into here. Um, but we're not going to do that part today. I'm just using this large image here. And I am going to put it on an e-block. It just fits on the e-block, so you don't have to get a super gigantic block. Okay, it just kind of just, just fits on there. And I'm going to use our crumb cake ink. And I like crumb cake because sometimes if you look at it in the right light, it almost seems to have a little bit of a goldy tinge. So I thought it would be perfect to go with the gold um, foil that's in this paper. And this is just a little trick to ink up my stamps. When they're large, I like to have them face up and just tap the ink pad on top. Okay. And then I am going to kind of put it on a bit of an angle in the top right hand corner there. Okay, because this stamp is beautiful. Can you see the detail in that? Just using the outline, although they have this part that you can fill in all the outlines, sometimes just using the outline is enough because it's got such detail. And the crumb cake color is gorgeous. So don't forget starting tomorrow, the crumb cake um, ink pad will be on sale at 15% off. So will the crumb cake paper, because you don't want to get the ink pad without the paper. It's always good to have it match. Okay, and then we'll put our DSP here. Oh, I lost my snail. Let me get my snail adhesive. Hopefully I have some here. I had a fundraiser this weekend, so I still haven't unpacked from it. Let's see. Oh, we have something in common. Well, who wouldn't love chips? Chips are so good. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Okay. And then I'll put the, I'll kind of layer it on top a little bit. See, the other side of the paper is very pretty as well. It is very pretty as well. Okay. We try to be straight. Does that look straight? <laughs> okay, so before I glue this down onto the card, I am going to put some ribbon. And the Shimmery Gold Ribbon, also part of the suite, so it's only available while supplies last until the end of November. I am going to cut a piece just a little longer than the actual card. So let me do that. 
Okay. There we go. Okay. And we'll pop this on. Okay. And uh, I, I like to just use scotch tape at the back if I can. Of course, you can use a glue dot or you can use the snail, but if I can find the end of this tape, I find it's pretty easy to use the tape to kind of tape the ends down. Okay, so I'll show you my little trick for doing a knot. I find this way that I do it, it saves ribbon, and that just makes your ribbon go on and on. Get the best value for your ribbon, because no one can see the back anyway, so it doesn't actually have to go all the way around. So I just have it going a little bit like this, and then I'm just going to cut an extra piece like this, and that's I'm just going to slip it underneath and tie a knot. Okay, so this is kind of a cheater way to tie that knot. It makes it look like it's all one piece of ribbon, but it's actually two pieces of ribbon, and I sort of feel like I'm saving the amount of ribbon that I would have wrapped all the way around. Okay, and then uh, we can stick that right onto our Mossy Meadow card base. Okay, what do you think of that the stamp set? This Christmas rose. I know I already showed you the detail, but it, it makes me happy to show you again. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is uh, use the sentiment in the stamp set. It's got a very nice... Merry Christmas. Oh, hi, Karen. I'm glad you hopped on, too. I love to know that you're on. Okay, so I'm just going to use a scrap piece of paper here because we don't like to throw out our scraps. And we are going to use the Merry Christmas sentiment from the Christmas Rose stamp set. So I wouldn't wait. If you do like this stamp set or any of the things I'm showing as a part of this suite, don't wait because it could sell out. Um, it's only in November, and then... You can always just order it. Just shop online, genevieve.stampinup.net, and click the Shop Now button. Okay, so here's another stamp that will be on sale starting tomorrow. If you came later and you missed the big announcement, Stampin' Up! has announced a sale starting tomorrow only for three days on the Regals inks, the Regals cardstock, the neutral inks, and the neutral cardstock, 15% off, plus eight additional bundles. So, um, yeah, we're not going to want to miss that. I'm just trying to think the best way to use my scrap piece of paper. Maybe I'll put it up here. Okay, so I'm using Cherry Cobbler, which is one of the Regal colors. So this is your chance. The big sale tomorrow is your chance to kind of complete some of the things in your collection if you don't already have all the inks in, a, in the Regals or Neutrals collection. Okay, and so, oh, the other thing I didn't show what the other thing was is a part of this suite. It's not just the stamp set. But of course, there are coordinating dies, yes. So I'm going to, let me show you the dies, those of you who maybe didn't tune in in the previous week's episodes. So we've got the big uh, outline that goes with this stamp. Okay, I don't, I don't know, you get the idea, right? So that'll cut that out. But it also has um, some great label dies. I'm going to use the bigger one today. Um, it's got some fancy flourish corners, sort of a lattice and an edging. So there's lots on here. Okay. There we go. Okay, so we're going to die cut that out. And we'll put it in here. So I may as well tell you why I was giggling when I saw the text coming through. Um, my son, um, uh, I don't know. I actually, it's not my story to tell. I won't tell it then, <laughs> even though I really want to, but I better not. Oh, sorry. That's a teaser. I'll tell you another story since someone else is texting me <laughs> while I'm doing this video. Um, team stick girl, Dawn, she gave me a little gift. Maybe I can show you the gift. Okay. Sorry. I'm getting off topic here. Um, so she gave me this little gift. Isn't that cute? She gave it to me at on stage. And then inside was this cute little thing. 
And first of all, I loved it because it says Aloha. Um, you had me at Aloha. And as you know, the next Stampin' Up! Incentive trip that I'm going on is in July to Maui. So I was like, oh, this is so cute. But I actually didn't know what it was. So I think I thanked her for the gift and I said thank you. For, I think I might have called it a trinket or something, but I wasn't quite sure. So she just texted me back and she said it's a coaster for my car. I, I still don't fully get it, but I'll look it up on Google. Like I'm not sure what this little cutout is for. So if any of you can enlighten me, that would be fantastic. But that is one of the special gifts that I got it on stage. So any of you who want to be first to see new stuff, to be a part of a fun community where people give you handmade gifts just because, you should definitely join my stamping team. Um, we've got a whole community across Canada, and uh, you know we're happy to welcome you. And you can do it whether you're interested in shopping at a discount, whether you're interested in earning extra money, whether you're interested in being part of a creative community. It is all available to you. So don't wait, you can get the starter kit now and then starting December 3rd, you'll be able to add all those spring catalog goodies into your starter kit. Okay, so in case you missed it, I used the die from the Roses dies, which are limited time and cut out this nice little label, okay? And so I'm gonna put it on here, but before I do, I sort of felt like it was a bit naked back here. So I'm gonna use a bit of our linen thread. Um, let me just grab my lemon thread and I'm going to just put a little bit of interest behind there and how I did that is I used our linen thread and then I just wrapped it around my fingers I don't know if you can kind of see that I have my fingers sort of splayed out and I just wrapped it a few times around and I'll cut okay so that I kind of get this loopy sort of thing and then here, I'm just going to put tons of adhesive back here with my snail. And then I will kind of put this behind. So it can be messy behind because no one sees it anyway. Okay, but you see how it adds some like fun interest to the back? And it's very messy back here, but it doesn't matter. There, we'll just stick that end down. Okay, and then what we'll do is I'll use some dimensionals and pop it up on the front of the card. So just sometimes a little extra embellishment adds a little fun to the card. It just gives it that little something. I mean, the card would have been fine if I didn't put the ribbon or the thread, but I think it really adds something a little bit extra when you put those extra embellishments. And this is nothing fancy, it's just linen thread. Okay, and so it doesn't cost a lot. It's a great little thing to add on when you're ordering. Um, and because the linen thread is sort of this neutral color, I thought it went really well with the, uh, sorry, I'm peeling off the backing. I thought it went really well with the sort of crumb cake color here that I did the rose in. Okay, so we'll stick that on there. I don't know. Okay, and so that is the finished card for this week. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. And then I should probably with a dark card, I'd like to put like a little layer inside so it's easier to write the message. There might even be a nice message. Merry Christmas. See? And then I could put this inside, wishing you the gifts of the season. So uh, at on stage this weekend, one of the girls said it's got innie and outie. So it's got an innie and outie saying. Okay, so that could be the innie saying, that could be the outie saying, so that's kind of fun. So that is one of the cards that we'll do at Swim Sweet and Simple class next week on Wednesday. Here's another one of the cards that we'll do at Sweet and Simple on Wednesday. But don't forget, even if you are not able to come to class on Wednesday, you can still just shop on my online store, genevieve.stampinup.net. Use that host code, and I will send you tutorials for uh, 12 different Christmas projects. Um... Uh, which you can use for your own Christmas crafting or for your creative inspiration. Okay, so let me flip this around and then um, we'll see if there's any questions. Thanks, Maureen. I'm glad you liked the card. Okay, so let's pop us here and then uh, to see if you have any questions about anything that I showed. And so just a reminder, this whole suite, the dies, the 
stamps and everything are only available while supplies last. And then don't forget, if you are super itchy to see the new spring stuff, um, I would highly recommend uh, joining my stamping team because as, a stamp, as being a part of the Stampin' Up! family, you get to see everything first. You get to order everything first. There's uh, exclusive videos we get to watch about uh, the new product. So um, I would love uh, for you to join my team. We are the Team Stick Stampers. Uh, we've got girls um, in Newfoundland, in Nova Scotia, mostly in Ontario, but we've got some up north. So um, come, we would love to have you as part of our fun community. And to me, it's really family, right? Like it's, it's, a, it's our stamping family um, and I love to have you be a part of it. So don't wait. Um, you can put the Christmas rose stuff in your starter kit. Oh, did I tell you the price? That's the best part. Okay, the price is $135 Canadian. Um, and you get to choose $165 worth of product. And starting December 3rd, you can choose items from the not yet released spring catalog. Maybe it's December 1st. Anyway, at the beginning of December. Um, so there's no reason, there's absolutely no downside to joining the Stampin' Up! family. You get a whole bunch of great product at an amazing price, no tax, no shipping. I mean, how much better does it get than that? And as well, you, um, you get to enjoy that extra creativity. You get to enjoy extra perks. So there's no downside, really. Um, so if you love the product and you see uh, things that you want to add, then go ahead because once you're part of the team, once you're part of the Stamping Up! family, you also get a continual 20% discount on top of any other discounts. So for example, if you're uh, taking advantage of the three-day sale starting tomorrow with 15% off the ink pads, I think you can even put those items in your starter kit and get more bang for your buck. Okay, so that is the scoop. Thanks for joining me at Tuesday at 2. Uh, don't be shy to comment and let me know you've been watching. And then I can enter you into the drawing next week. Thanks, guys. Bye.